Good evening everyone and welcome back to this walkthrough of Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian. This is Blackjack Kent and we are in the National Air and Space Museum where we are going to try and find the first of the ingots we need to repower Achman Ra's tablet and uh, get, yes, find the shield ingot. Yes. I need to talk to her. We're gonna go talk to him. Time now to seek the shield ingot. Octavius, I swear to God. We need to go talk to uh, Amelia Earhart, but first we're going to. So, this is the National Air and Space Museum. Lots of national air and space. Mm hmm. Uh. Yeah. This is actually my favorite museum in the Smithsonian. Um. I used to love going there when I lived in the D.C. area. Which I did for a number of years. Where's the fire, oh. mister? Oh, hello. Wait a minute, aren't you? Amelia Earhart. And you are? Yeah, I'm... Get down! Shall we try that again, Mr. Down? It's Larry. Larry Daly. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Daly. Call me Amelia. Do you fly? Only when I play fetch with the dinosaur. Hey, listen, no offense, Amelia, but I gotta run. Bad guys are chasing me. Hmm, those stuffed shirts with the bean shooters? <laughs> Do tell. All right, look. Uh, an evil pharaoh cast a spell to conquer the world to stop him. I have to find a bunch of golden doodads and put them back in the magic tablet I have right here. Sounds like an adventure. I'm in. What? I said I'm in. I'll help. But... No buts. What's the plan? Um, basically, look for bobs of gold and put them in the tablet. Roger. Let's ankle, Skipper. The map will show me the way to the shielding. Uh, is she coming with us, or... Where is she? Uh... Collected pilot's wings. Okay, I guess that's the collectible for this area. Uh, are there any audio tours to listen to? Nope. Alright. Let's GTFO. Find the shield ingot. Oh dear. Hi. Activate the extinguisher with your keychain. Okay. I gotta sneak by this guy. Time now to seek the shield. Octavius. Oh god. How? Uh okay. Here we go. Well that went well. <laughs> let's uh let's try that again. Welcome to the National Air. No, am I able to hit them with anything? Oh god, I have to go through talking to her again. I need to talk to her. Oh god. Please tell me I can skip this. Where's the fire, no, mister? Uh, Wait a minute. Buggery. Skip cutscene. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I would have probably just died. Um Activate the extinguisher with your keychain. What the hell is the extinguisher? Uh Look, it is the Guardian. We oui, we. Oui. I am the Guardian. I uh. This is unfortunate. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. The map will show me the way to the shield. Will it? What does the map know about it? Oh, okay. Uh. Am I supposed to sneak past him, or is there any way to... Come on. Yeah. Right, I think he automatically notices me. Whoa, God! Oh, that key... Ah, uh, that extinguisher. Oh, God! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Alright, I'll see you when I manage to get this completed. Ah. Whoops! Very well. Uh, whoa. Can you see? All right. Is there another the map one? Will show me the way to the shielding. To hit this guy with? Mm -hmm. oh. No. It's okay. I'm not here. Uh. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? On you. I wish I had stealth attacks. So you want to fly? Not really, I just want to get out of here. Get out of 
this area. Can we sneak past this dude? I really don't know. Time now to seek the shield. Octavius, I swear to God. Shut up. I'm going to beat your butt. I think we're gonna wait until this guy turns around. Look, Fuck! Is no, okay, that was a mistake. Go! Go, go, god. Oh god, okay. Ah! Oh. What? To the National Air and Space oh Museum. my god. Press the button button. Can I- oh, do I lure him over here? Is that the idea? Oh wait, no, there's a thing. There we go. Okay. Jeez, that was a pain in the butt. The map will show me the way to the shield. Area. Okay. Uh, it lets me use my keychain like a rope or a grappling hook. Hmm. Yeah, thank you for giving away all the puzzles. What is that noise? Is it Dexter the monkey here? Maybe. There's a quarter, definitely. Hey. Oh. oh. Little space monkey hungry? Let's get you out of this. Hey, not even a thank you. That picky little monkey Screw wants to chase Screw you, Dexter. Him. Freed Abel from her restraints. Oh, it's not Dexter. Never mind. Wasn't that his name? Dexter? The one who stole the... the thing? Uh, there was something around here that I could hit with the... keychain. What was it? Time now to seek the shield, Ingot Murray. Octavius, I'm going to beat your face. This is Abel, a preserved rhesus monkey. She flew into space with Baker, a squirrel monkey, in a 1959 experiment designed to test the biomedical effects of space travel. They reached an altitude of 300 miles and traveled at speeds reaching 10,000 miles per hour before re-entering Earth's atmosphere and being recovered by Navy ships. Both monkeys survived the trip. Nice. The map will show me the way to the shielding. I understand the concept. I suppose we're supposed to just walk up to this guy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What? Oh. <laughs> nice. Very home alone. Gotcha. Another ingot. Woo! The shield ingot allows one to raise a protective shield. <laughs> sort of sounded like uh, Robert Lutes. A magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. <laughs> that monkey. That darn monkey. Hope Diamond is the world's largest deep blue diamond. It is more than one billion years old. This piece looks as hungry as a lion from the arena. I like you, Octavius. I just wish you didn't say the same thing over and over again. I guess we're going to some sort of kitchen area. When you find him, bring him to me. Ah. I am not we. <laughs> I am of average age for France in the 1800s. Now go! Magnifique. So tall. So dangerous. We are kindred spirits. Forget about me, Mr. Daly. Huh. Well, uh, I... I'll have you know I'm the equal of any man. Oh, my God. Oh, look. Once I master these weapons, I do not need you, Monsieur Le Camunra. I shall eat the cake and conquer Russia at the same time. Two trees that go together so well. Oui. Ah! Yes, here, Robert Monkey! After him! Catch that monkey! Let's split up and take it on the heel and toe. Definitely. As soon as you explain what you just said. Run! Oh dear. Do I need to say this? Abel, what you doing? Use the launch control panel. Okay. Where? Uh, what? I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, there we go. Chase. I got it, I got it. What the? I 
am f like 99% sure that there's nothing that spews fire in the freaking Air and Space Museum. Do not let the next ingot escape your giant grasp. Oh god. Ow. Okay, that was just dumb. My bad. Uh. Oh god. Ah. Press the thing. Okay. Yay, property damage. From the beginning of the space age, people recognized that Earth-orbiting satellites able to see and communicate across vast distances. Oh, I'm being timed to do something, aren't I? Shit. Thirty-five seconds. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. God damn it. Where did Ow! You? Ow, fuck. Abel, where did you go? Do not be discouraged. Search out the next ingot. What's gonna happen when the countdown goes down? Oh, okay. I thought something was like I was gonna something was gonna go off when the countdown finished, but I guess not. All right. Uh, can we? S yes. Okay. Gotcha. Why are we not hunting that next ingot? Are you ill? Your mom's ill. Spacesuits had to meet all the astronauts' life support needs. Backpacks left on the moon provided oxygen, temperature, and humidity control, suit pressure, and power for their communications and data display systems. This suit, made of 22 layers of different materials, plus a three-layer undergarment, also protected them against extreme lunar temperatures and micro-meteoroids. That picture on the machine of Ventron is a clue to what the monkey would like to eat. Hmm? Space ice cream. Larry? Okay, okay, what now? Let's see, I can, uh... Larry! Ouch! You stuck me! Larry, let me free your frozen treasure. Oh. <clears throat> sure, okay. The die oh. is cast. For Rome! <laughs> I like you. Do we get to play him climbing around in the... Okay, little freeze-dried space ice cream, and voila! Monkey is ingot. Perfect. Okay, some sort of minigame. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I shall use my good Roman oh, wit to maneuver in this place. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Your ice cream's coming, Abel. Chill out. Relax. Uh. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Octavius. I have a feeling I may have to do this a second time. Stop dropping shit on me. I don't know how great I am at platformers, so... This is, uh... What? I don't understand. What? What am I supposed to do? Trying to jump. Uh, okay, I'll see you when I figure this out. Oh, gotcha. There the whip spoil the ice cream. Gotcha. Alright, well, I'm gonna run out of time now, but uh, I understand the concept now. I cannot rest until I have shoved the frozen treat into the abyss! <laughs> oh. How about you, snack food? Yeah, alright, let's try that again. Okay. Space ice cream and voila. I shall use my good right. Roman So basically, whip he has good, yeah, okay, good Roman whip, Fresh I didn't understand. It's, uh, basically a, uh, equivalent to, uh, Larry's keychain. So, left trigger. 
I understand now. Come on. I go. cannot rest until I have shoved the frozen treat into the abyss. That's the spirit. Where, uh, Octavius? I shall hear the lamentations of your cookies and the cries of your soul. <laughs> oh, I like you. I like you so much. You are a clever boy. Is there no end to these cavernous heights? Uh, I don't know. There we go. Huh. Octavius, lucky departure imminent. Need that ice cream now. My blade thirsts for the sweet frozen milk of my adversary. <laughs> Just get the ice cream loose, okay? Save the speech for later. Hey, with a monkey Come on, chaser. Guy. Come on, little guy. Hey! What was the point of that then if you ran away anyway? General George Custer was defeated at the, by the Sioux at the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876, better known as Custer's Last Stand. Quite. <laughs> Give Abel the space ice cream. <laughs> Damn it, Abel. Wait, what? That picky little monkey wants me to chase oh, him. From when I thought they'd suddenly actually lost gravity. I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but I guess these things are all on, uh, strings. Whoa, okay. Whee! Yeah. Hey, another thing. The F-1 engine, with 1.5 million pounds of thrust, powered the first stage of the huge Saturn V launch vehicle that took the first astronaut. The F-1 used a type of kerosene, along with liquid oxygen as the propellants. The F-1's 2,500 pound turbo pump pumped in the propellants at 42,500 gallons per minute. I used to be really into, um, space exploration history as a kid. I still think it's really cool. I really wanted to be a, uh, an astronaut as a kid. Didn't quite do it. Though I still would love to work for NASA one day, so computer programmer, maybe. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Okay, no, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, what is this trying to tell me to something? Is a snake lighting up? What is it? Oh, going back up there. That's cool. Uh, we'll pass on that. Where am I actually trying to go? Keep doing that. Uh, to the left.